Grilling, or barbecuing is a true American tradition. Many Americans are finding themselves with a grill for the first time. Good experiences with your grill will surely lead to using your grill more and more. Planning ahead. Barbecuing has been around since early cavemen figured out that food tasted great after being cooked on an open fire. Perhaps one of the main memories attached to a family barbecue is what was on the menu that day. Barbecuing opens a whole array of types of foods available. The type of foods you serve should largely depend on your crowd and the event in which you are celebrating. With the wide range of possibilities, you are sure to find at least a few items that will please your crowd. Another potential issue when barbecuing is the weather. While you will not be able to guarantee that the weather stays nice your barbecue event, a certain amount of planning will help you avoid the days in which barbecuing is just simply out of the picture. Watch the weather channel or check online for your weekly forecast. If rain or cold weather is likely on the day you were thinking about having your barbecue, it may be a good idea to wait for a better forecast. Make sure that you prepare ahead for your barbecue. 12 to 24 hours before you plan on beginning the party, make sure to thaw, prepare, and marinate the meat you will be cooking. Once you have the meat stored away, soaking up the marinade, then you must start thinking about what types of side dishes you will be having. If you want a completely tradition barbecue, you may want to stick with traditional sizes. Traditional barbecue sides include potatoes, potato salad, baked beans, and coleslaw. Maintenance. You will need some common household items on hand when it comes time to clean your barbecue grill. Brass wire grill brush. Steel wool pads, preferably that contain soap already. Mild dish soap. Sponge or dishcloth. Spray cooking oil. Dry baking soda. Aluminum foil. The first thing that should always be done to your grill is a routine brushing. Using your brass wire grill brush or other brush suitable to your type of grill, you should brush off all the surfaces. By routinely brushing your barbecue grill, you will prevent any type of buildup. If buildup from food is left too long, it can become increasingly difficult to remove. Once you have cleaned the surfaces of your grill, then you must focus on its racks. The racks in your grill are especially important as this is where the food touches when it is cooking. You will have to use the wire brush to remove as much buildup as possible. Once you remove as much as possible, start washing the racks with dish soap. If the racks are really dirty, you may also want to use the steel wool pads. Be sure to completely rinse off all soap and residue before cooking on these racks again. This process should be completed each and every time you cook on your barbecue grill. If these steps are not taken, you may find it increasingly difficult to clean your grill, and may find that damage will occur. The majority of problems that arise from barbecue grills comes from lack of cleaning and maintenance. That means if you notice something does not seem quite right with your barbecue grill, chances are it can be fixed with just a simple cleaning. Even if you clean it, and still find that it is having problems, at least you saved yourself the potential embarrassment of taking it to a professional only to find out all it needed was to be clean. Finally, one method of preventing problems with your barbecue grill is protecting it from the outdoors. Covers are available for grills in all shapes and sizes, so chances are, you will find one that fits your grill. If you have a cover for your barbecue grill, then all you will ever need to do is do the regular maintenance listed above.